let you get that, shall I? What's his problem? He's guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some gimme, gimme, gimme. Season 1, episode 4. I'm absolutely loving this. I can't believe it's episode 4 already. Seems like yesterday when we started, I'm absolutely loving it. Katty Bok, Katty Bok, Katty Bok. We're going to call her. She's absolutely lovely. And the geese as well. What's the geese's name? I forgot the geese's name. He's so, so funny as well. But yeah, let's go. Keep still. Oh, this is really good of you. You see, I used to be taller, but with age, we shrink. Apparently, Anne Robinson's three foot eight. <laughs> Have you seen the news of the world anywhere? I thought I you didn't read that anymore. No, 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 I don't, I don't. But apparently there's a Simon Shepherd special offer on, you see. <laughs> if you collect 15 special tokens, you can send away for the entire series of peak practice for 3 99 It's marvellous. <laughs> what a rip-off. I shall be the belle of the ball in this. The working woman's reunion won't know what's fit him. Oh. oh! There's going to be a talent contest. It's in the bloody bin! I shall do one of my old routines. Well, sleep with a GI for a pair of nylons. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't danced since the day Thatcher resigned. Why? Because I had an unfortunate incident with an apple pie in a well-known fast food chain. I can't tell you the name for libel reasons, but he was old and he had a farm. You shouldn't be reading that, you know. That's right-wing propaganda. Oh, what joy! My 12-in-a-bed sex romp with Hartlepool FC by Sugar Walls. Slag. Oh, I'm a huge fan of Sugar Walls. I cursed the day that hot fruit dribbled down my thigh. <laughs> Yes, we cursed the day you were born. <laughs> I was. I could have gone on a dancing version of that stars oh. in their eyes. Oh, I applied for that. Who has? Mama Cass? <laughs> no. That bird out of them people. <laughs> oh, poor sugar. She's on her seventh divorce. <laughs> when I auditioned, that Matthew Kelly couldn't get enough of me. He said we were soulmates. Of course. <laughs> but, of course, when I blacked up, they threw me out on my ear. <laughs> Excuse me, shall I get that? Shall I get that? Yes, I'll get that. Why don't I get that, shall I? What's his problem? He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, it's for you. Oh, tell him I'll call him back. I'm three pins away from an even end. <laughs> I'll pop down later and show you me routine. Well, don't expect me to be free. Sunday's me day for waxing me legs. <laughs> Mummy always said if you had legs like silk, you could always get a man. <laughs> right, that's, that's even. Silk. Well, who was it? Was it Liam? Is he leaving Patsy? Is he on his way over? He has dream on hot pubes. <laughs> How does Beryl look? Um, Princess Margaret on smack. <laughs> Is she? <laughs> Get out. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Not even a thank you. Well, who was it? Sharon. On her way over. Who's Sharon? It's my sister. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Linda! <laughs> you don't have a sister, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Linda, what's the matter? <laughs> Give me air! Give me air! Give me air! Give me air! <laughs> <laughs> Now, look, what is going on? Sugar Walls' his real name is Sharon LeHughes. She's my sister. Well, she can't be. She's gorgeous. <laughs> She's a dog. She's a gay icon. So am I. No, 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 no. You see, you're what we call a fag hag. <laughs> Just stand open the door. Oh, the Sugar Walls is the thinking man's Mandy Smith, for goodness sake. I mean, you would have told me if you had a celebrity sister. Listen, mate, there are two names in this world you just don't drop. Sugar Walls and Cheryl Baker. <laughs> I mean, I've known that girl since she was an egg and all she's ever been to me is trouble. I mean, she's let me down more times than a lilo. <laughs> I don't expect much from this lifetime, but I do expect loyalty. Is that too much to ask? Oh, no, of course not, of course not. <gasps> oh! 
For the love of Twiggy, we haven't hoovered. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, yeah, I am we, trying we, to be sympathetic to you, but we have a celebrity en route and dusty rugs. I knew we should have bought a Hoover, but oh no, says Linda. No, the carpet's an arse and dog. We blend in. Well, look! Oh. <laughs> Just pray she's not asthmatic. I don't want a celebrity murder on my hands, okay? I don't want this to become the death place of sugar walls. There'll be coach parties. Chinese people with state-of-the-art cameras. <laughs> 69 Paradise Passage will forever be known as a tomb. That's too good for that bitch. <gasps> what sort of a sister are you? <laughs> Spurned. Don't you dare be vulgar! <laughs> Oh, hello, hello, hello. Want some whipped cream? No, I don't want whipped cream. Please. I just need to borrow your hoover, please, quickly. Oh, do you need the attachments? I know you're single. <laughs> no, I just want to borrow your hoover. Well, it's got a number of settings for different floor types. Oh. Isn't that great? Our favourite steep shag. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll never guess who we've got what? coming round to our flat. Oh, can we guess? Well, give me the hoover and I'll tell you. Give me... Why is your list topless? Or, uh, literally, why? Why? So far, I think one of the best jokes I've heard so far is that Anne Robin Robinson. She's one that does the weakest neck, innit? The more they go, the older you get, the smaller you get. And they go, she's three foot eight. I don't think she's three foot eight. Is she? Someone please tell me. That's one of the funniest one I've heard so far. And also, when she goes, uh, he's going crazy and Katie Buck replies, he's just gay or something like that. That was really funny. But yeah, I'm loving this show. Loving it. Sue's loves guessing games. Uh, does she? Does she? Right. Well, it's a celebrity. Fern Britton. Mm. Pamers. Mm. Dirty old slapper has been on TV. Eureka, Eureka Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> oh, no. Sugar Walls. Sugar Walls is coming round to our flat. Can you believe it? She's Linda's sister. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Damn. I wanted it to be Pamers. <laughs> Paparazzi search? Paparazzi search? No, there's no one, no one, no oh, one. Right. Uh, which one is it? This way, this way, this way. Oh. If you talk to the press, I'm not Sugar Walls. Are you Pam Ayers? Yes. Yes. Uh, prove it. Uh, my name is Pam Ayers, <laughs> and I be liking flares. Especially the sort that come in pairs. Quickly, oh, <laughs> autograph book. <laughs> They do look alike, do they? Sandy's leg waxing day. I don't see why I should have to change my plans for you. <laughs> right. Olive? Don't call me that! <laughs> look, I had nowhere else to go. I'm on the run from the press. And they wouldn't expect to find me in a shithole like this. <gasps> you can only judge a shithole by the turds that pass through it. <laughs> Is your name Olive? <laughs> no! And you keep it stum! Have you never seen on the buses? <laughs> yes, yes, I have, actually. <laughs> Just like her. So, sugar. Is it a hideous nightmare being on the run from the press? I imagine it is. Back to life, isn't it? Yeah, but they printed such terrible lies about you. I mean, 12 in a bed sex romps with a well known football team. Lies? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cream. My motto's the same as yours, Linda. If it's got a pulse, it's got a chance. <laughs> Excuse me, but I've got standards. <laughs> the gentlemen callers at this house are barristers, financiers, restaurateurs. Isn't that right, Tom? Well, we had a pizza delivered once. <laughs> Fascinating. I'm gonna crash. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Please, 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 take my bed. It would be an honour. Oh, I'm sure, babes. Oh. <laughs> Sugar walls. Called me babes. Oh, did you hear that? Did you? 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 <laughs> God, she's so beautiful. She's. Do you know what's crazy in so today's society? Like the way we treat celebrities. When I was younger, I used to be like that. But I feel like the only people that can get to me probably like not even that anymore. In the when I was younger, I used to be footballers. It's like oh my god, oh my god. Now I feel like the older you get, when you see these people, and you're like they're just like me and you. Literally, they're just like me and you. So, 
it's obviously you can be like, oh my god, but just take it easy, man. Just just like us. Literally, just like us. They got they have problems as well. They have they take a shite every time. They take big fat shites. Maybe not fat, but they do take shites. Yeah. Beyonce takes shites. She does. Probably taking a shot right now. Just to let you know. Yeah. <laughs> David Beckham's taking a shot right now. <laughs> Sorry. She's so quick witted. She's so raw. You know, there's a girl who's been to the brink, stared despair in the face, and then dragged herself back by the straps of her own slingbacks. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Have you been using my ear, mate? Get off me! <laughs> Dexy, it's Tom. Guess what? Now, before I tell you, you must promise not to divulge this information to a soul. Guess who we've got round our flat? I've seen better legs on an oil rig. <laughs> no, guess again. Rig? No, guess again. <laughs> One more time. Room's a bit over the top. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy would turn in her grave if she knew I'd taken you in. Poor cow would still be here today if she hadn't been so fat. <laughs> she died of a broken heart cos of you. She electrocuted herself on her own slinter tone pads. <laughs> How'd you do, Pam? Know who I am? I'll get I... out! <laughs> Just thought I'd uh, give you a hand looking for your dilapidatory cream. Uh, how did I break Mum's heart? Hanging around with Shane Ritchie like you're the sixth Nolan. <laughs> Getting your tits out for the sun, shagging all those pop stars. I mean, do you really yeah, want me to go awesome. on? Sugar, I'm an actor, and I've often been likened to Robert Carr. Also, okay, I think he's about to say something crazy. Also, it's so crazy, I found out growing up, like for me, growing up wasn't normal, but apparently, like in the early 2000s, on the page three, there used to be people that were topless. That was normal for newspapers. Look, I was reacting to. I was reacting to Steel Games, a Scottish show. Check it out. I do reactions on that every Monday, so check it out. And they were talking about how Page Three is like a, is famous for you know having women topless on it. Imagine that happening today. No chance. Like twenty years ago was was absolutely crazy, <laughs> crazy times, fun times. Hello, particularly around the fringe. And I. Just... <laughs> I'm an actor, and I've often been likened to Robert Carlyle, particularly around the fringe. And I. I'll run out and find me cream. Oh, don't be horrible to him, you. Tim's all right. Uh, it's Tom. Tom. Oh. Tom. Actually. <laughs> um, Sugar, I've always wanted to know what is it like representing the UK at the Eurovision Song Contest. I imagine it's phenomenally exciting, though. Is it? Is it? Though? Is it? It's all right. Well, I'm part of the Eurovision Cognoscenti, so I remember that night vividly. You know, vividly. Yes, first up with the Macedonian twins with a didgeridoo. <laughs> then that large lesbian yodeling for Serbia. Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> Yodel for peace, I think it was called. So hard. <laughs> and then, oh, the anticipation. Eh, Mantano, represent all the Royaume Uni, maze, sugar walls. The orchestra striking up, and then you leaping out of that enormous handbag. Oh. <laughs> yeah, singing like Ellen Keller with tonsillitis. <laughs> For your information, Linda, did do dum dum went platinum in Iceland? <laughs> the birdie song went platinum in Iceland. <laughs> you know, you're very popular on the gay scene. Uh, yeah, so is yeah. nitrate, mate, and they both smell of old socks. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that I was down to the last three to be Debbie McGee? Really? Mm. Really? Oh, I was gutted over that. She's got a lovely life with Paul. I've got a life. I've got a life. See that scar? Know where I got that scar? I got that scar when I was bottled in a fight in the Ucker and Ferkin pub in Plaistow. <laughs> That's what you call being a part of the real world, mate. Something you don't know nothing about. Okay. It's one of the happiest nights of my life, actually. <laughs> the other girl lost two front teeth and a short-term memory. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I do not look like Elizabeth I. <laughs> You can be beautiful and be part of the real world, you know. <laughs> Don't you think I'm living proof of that? Oh. 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 
hope Mum didn't half fill your head with some crap. I mean, I think every little girl needs to be told they're pretty. Mm. But with some people, it's more a case of Ooh. call social services. They're taking the piss. <laughs> Why'd you have to be so horrible about Mummy all the time? That woman was like a rock to me when I was in Boston. She wrote to me every week, sent me food parcels, little nail clippings. Mm. Well, I ran away before I was put away. You can't blame me for that. Do you know how I was born, Tom? Oh, here we go. It came to pass that Mummy went into labour in Smoker's World in Rockford Market. <laughs> she gave birth to me on a crate of John Player specials. <laughs> in fact, they called me John for the first two weeks because they didn't realise I was a girl. <laughs> you can't live in the past all the time. Oh. Well, what do you expect? All I had down for today was waxing my bikini line and then the past comes along and slaps me round me practically perfect face. Oh. <laughs> Just ignore her. So, what does the future hold for Miss Sugar Wall? Anything large up your pipeline? Well, actually, I'm doing my own fitness video, Thrust for Life. Are you fully cast? No. Oh, I'll be sniffing around for blokes in Lycra who can do a crab. Well, I was pretty good at movement at drama school, you know. I've got fantastic legs for restoration. Yeah. Well, watch and learn. <laughs> could you get that for me, please, Linda? <laughs> this could be a whole new opening for me. <laughs> Hi, Linda. How's tricks? What do you want? Oh, we just wanted to borrow something. What? Uh, well, uh, anything, really. Yes, yeah, so if we could just come in and browse. <laughs> something from the living room, perhaps? Or maybe the kitchen? No, darling, not the kitchen. Linda, 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 would you come quickly, please? Miss Sugar Walls is stuck in the crab. Oh, oh what about Bobba? Excuse me, Dad. Sugar Walls and Pam Ayres in the same flat at the same time. Oh, who should we do first? Sugar, save the best till last. <laughs> them done last year. And they're fantastic. Oh, you want to see them before, mate? Two aspirin on an ironing board. <laughs> Hi, cats. Get out. Who are they? I'm Suze, great pal of Lindy and Tom Toms. <laughs> Would you mind? Oh, if you could just sign it to Susan Jez with a, a big showbiz kiss, sugar balls. Oh, that's typical, isn't it? I mean, one whiff of a celebrity and everyone's ran like sheep. Bah, bah. <laughs> oh, you don't have any bubbly, do ya? I don't drink. That's like saying Carol Vorderman doesn't do sums. <laughs> <laughs> well, I go in search of Moe for Miss Walls. <laughs> bah, bah. You've been such an added bonus. We only came round to see Pam Ayres. Is she in Tom's room? Yeah, along with Boney M, Alice St. Clair and Manhattan Transfer. <laughs> Why'd you really come here? I mean, you've never run away from the press before. I had a fall out of my best mate. Came here to get some space. What did you do? Tried to shag her husband. <laughs> Sally <that a> human? <laughs> well, it was Liam Gallagher. <gasps> <laughs> what are you doing that for? You do not know Liam Gallagher. Patsy Kings, it's my best mate. <laughs> well, was. Don't lie. Well, why would I lie? Prove it. Oh. She loves him very much. <laughs> How long have we been seeing oh, sugar oh, 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 Hello? Can I speak to Liam, please? Huh? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> When I've made it up with Pats, I'll introduce you to him. He likes them rough. <gasps> Would you really do that for me? Oh, I'll forgive you for everything you've ever done to me. You're the bestest sister in the whole wide like world. <gasps> Who was that at the door? It was just me. Just me. Just practising, you know. One never knows when I'll be called upon to, you know, answer the door convincingly as, say, a prison officer on She's Out. You know, something like that. <laughs> Well, pull the bubbly big boys. Yes, yes, just come in, just come in. Miss <laughs> Walls? Sure. Yeah, I've just spoken to Liam Gallagher. Sharon's going to introduce me to him. Really? <laughs> oh, that's the least I can do. To sisters! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Morning, babes. This is great, isn't it? Just like old times. Yeah, we could do lunch later. I've always wanted to do lunch. Mm. Oh, 
put the telly on, mate. It's a cup of tea. OK, babes. <laughs> Tom Farrell's landlady. That's right, Maureen. Farrell is. And you had no idea that he was having an affair with Sugar Walls. Turn it off! <laughs> I'm ruined! Why? They're saying that I've slept with someone who isn't famous! Oh! I'll stick the kettle on! <laughs> oh, losing themes. <laughs> Listen to this. Champagne swilling Tom Farrell, 34, refused to comment from the doorstep of his rundown council flat in North London. Well, council? We've got to sue. I'm 29. <laughs> Tom, what a bloody hell's going on? Well, yesterday I accidentally answered the door to the paparazzi and they've got it into their stupid heads that, you know, me and Sugar are doing what you straight people do so well. <laughs> and in your case, so noisily. <laughs> well, how did they know she was here? I haven't got a clue. Well, thank Jiminy, they haven't caught a whiff of the mysterious disappearance of Pam Air story. God, it's <laughs> hardly headline-grabbing stuff. Oh, isn't it? Oh, shut up. This is you telling your mates this is. I've been on the phone at the press taking back handers, you silly git. <laughs> oh, Linda, you get a mention here. Oh. Yes, a, a close friend revealed that Tom lives with his mother, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Is your little sister up yet? She was so lovely yesterday. Oh, we've bought Did You Dum Dum for her to sign. <laughs> and a copy of Lick, her one and only foray into novel writing. We love this book. It's given us a lot of inspiration. <sighs> Get him out! Now, that's one thing your sister does very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you think you're doing, dog breath? I'm Tom's agent. I need to see my client. Come on, Bruno. Is it true they're going to elope? No! Are you Tom's mum? What? Are you Janet Street Porter? <laughs> oh, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> Tom, Tom, my favourite client. It may seem painful now, but, Heartface, I've had Emma Dale on the phone. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Norma, Norma, go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm Tom. <laughs> Quel dommage. Well, that's Bruno. He's your bodyguard. The agency will foot the bill. Like. Where is she? Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. I'm Norma, Tom's agent. Do you two want to sell your story? But it ain't true. Tom's gay. So's my husband. <laughs> you said something about Emmerdale being oh, on the phone? Yeah, sugar. They're offering you bawdy slut in barn. Three lines, two reaction shots and a wooden leg. What do you say? <laughs> what have they offered me? The wooden leg. Oh, big fat hairy bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly and orgasmically thrilling. Sugar, we have been invited to appear on Chit Chat at Tea Time. Isn't that exciting? Oh, it's hosted by the lovely and adorable Lorraine Spex Kelly. Do you know her? Hello, I'm Lorraine Kelly, and that's <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I've got cow milk in practice for Emmerdale later. But surely you can do them both. Here, yeah, we'll get you flown up to the Yorkshire Dales. <gasps> Think of me as your PI. Oh, God. I've always dreamt of lying next to Lorraine Kelly on her chaise long and fingering her dainty bone china oh, and yeah. licking the <laughs> broth of her cappuccino eclairs. Oh, do it for me, sugar. Say you will. Yes. Oh, all right, then. Oh, uh, see, you're not all bad, are you? <gasps> you know, we're going to have such a great time together, babes. You planned your summer holidays yet? I was thinking maybe Fingerola, unless, of course, you Finger fancy somewhere else. Uh, Here, Tom, how much does a PA get paid? Uh, I'm just going to have a quick bath. Is that part of my job description? Oh, bloody <laughs> hell. Mmm, <laughs> see that? Artistic temperament. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going to pretend you're straight, are you? For the lovely Lorraine, yes. <laughs> hypocrite. Oh, look who's talking! I'm not an hypocrite. Well, then why are you being so nice to her, then? Cos I'm the nice one, mate. OK. I mean, why does 
does anyone always expect me to be the bitch all the time? I mean, all my yeah. life I've had it. Oh, she's the pretty one. I bet she's the right bitch. <laughs> well, sometimes it don't work out that way. OK. Oh, for goodness sake. Where are you going? I'm going to buy a nice new blouse for chit-chat at tea time. <laughs> you can shut up and all. <laughs> to get me to the top. Oh. Yeah, but don't tell anybody. It ruined my career. Oh. oh. But, Dale, don't you fancy sugar? Sugar? Mm. No, she's just a filthy slut. You're the nice one. Babes, <laughs> chit chat at tea time, the Yorkshire Dales. Oh, so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and I've missed you, babes. Have you missed me? Ah, uh, you're choked. <laughs> Sugar? Sugar? Linda, you will never believe what's happened. What? Pam Ayres was in your flat the whole darn time. Hey? We came out to get the post, what, five minutes ago? Well, if you're going to be pernickety about it, it was more like six. And we saw her come creeping out of here. Scarf, shades, bags, like yesterday. Weird, huh? Well, didn't she say anything? Yeah. My, My name, name is Pam, Pam Ayres. Ayres. I, I cannot, cannot tell a lie. lie. The, the time, time has come, come for me to say, say goodbye. <gasps> Yes, yes, I know. We felt the same way. Her perch has really gone off. <laughs> Following me around. <laughs> Linda, look, 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 look. Look what I bought, look what I bought. Guess why I bought this, look at it. See that bit there? Goes with my eyes. Can you see that? Can you see that there? Can you see it? Come on, we should be ready. We should go soon. She's gone. Oh. Well, where? Don't know. Just gone. No PA job for me. No chit-chat at tea time for you. Just gone. Well, what did she say? Oh, she was all over me like eczema before she left. <laughs> Tell me how much she loved me. What an influence I'd been on her. Oh, what a bitch. <laughs> she looked me straight in the eye and said, I never forget, Linda, I love you. Well, she didn't. Oh, why do I <laughs> Have you found out at all today? She always did have bad taste, you know. Have you? The only woman on Celebrity Ready Steady Cook to bring a pot noodle. Tom! <laughs> what? what? Have you phoned out at all today? Oh, my agent hasn't stopped ringing, but now I haven't phoned out. Why? Nothing. <laughs> I'm a Gulligan. silly old queen. I know which bus I'm on. <laughs> I'm silly to think I could pretend otherwise. Anyway, I quite like my bus. Night, then. I don't want to get on any other bus. Or even pretend I bought a ticket for it. Hey, hang on, it's only three o'clock. <laughs> Hello? Is that Liam? What you got on? <laughs> Never mind who I am. What you got on? <laughs> oh, really? Really? <laughs> I got your number of sugar walls. 
That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those really gorgeous girls from Stringfellows. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got long blonde hair right down to me ass, and I've got really huge melons. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're a conundrum. <laughs> Standing there with your butchy bulk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great big manliness. Yeah, yeah, huge tallness. <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to have a siesta, so you just better go, I think, all right? Can I jump in with you? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nasty, yeah, nasty as I hear. But yeah, that was absolutely fantastic again. We've done episode four already. Wow, wow. See, every Friday, I'll keep doing more gimme gimme. Let me know what you what else you guys want to see. I'm doing still game on Monday, Father Ted on Wednesday, and gimme gimme on Friday. See how long I can do it for. I'll try to stay consistent as much as I can. You guys now post twice a day, Monday to Friday. Monday to Sunday. And I'm doing some food reactions as well. So I've done some Scottish snacks, I'm going to do some Scottish drinks. So comment down below anything you want me to try, anything you want to see, I'll try to do it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.